Yeah. Well, they've been trying to make trials greener for quite some years now because obviously we, we were first to use the unleaded petrol uh, 95 octane, so it's pump only petrol. They don't use any fancy racing fuels at the at uh, Scottish Six Days or in trials in general. So the ACU, the governing body of the sport for the UK, part of the FIM, they're, they're always looking into these things. So yeah, we're trying to make it as green and environmentally as possible. Okay, we're not as, as environmentally friendly as, say, a push bike, because obviously there's zero emissions from a push bike. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, the bikes over the years, even the two-stroke oil mix, it's gone up to something like 70 to 1, and they're all synthetic lubricants now. So even from a pollution point of view, things have been reduced over the years. Decibel ratings have come down to something like a maximum of uh, 83 decibels or whatever, just to keep the noise down as well. But, I mean, if you went out in the country and there was a trial on, you'd hardly know a trial was there because you expected there to be a lot of noise. And, you know, in a valley you don't really hear uh, a trial going yeah. on. You can be quite close to a trial, can hear but us, not hear it. You can hear us. You can hear us. We're, lo we're, 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 we're loud and noisy. I don't know how many decibels uh, Nevis Radio... We can put as many as you want, really. All right, I see. I saw somebody getting done the other day for that. They Did got you? pulled by the police. They had the windows down. It was a little Corsa. Yeah. And What's I thought, the it was, I thought it? something wrong with my vehicle. There was a booming sound, but it was actually the base of his speakers, and the cops oh. actually pulled him. It was in uh, West Lothian at the time. Right. Down in Broxburn, and uh, the police car came up behind us, and I thought, oh, I better pull in. So I pulled in. The cops pulled the guy behind me, and they were having a word, and they actually came along and said, no, it's not you we're interested in. You drive on. It's uh, this vehicle behind you we're yeah. interested in. So. And it was the noise he was, he was thumping out the stereo. Right. Do you really? Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh well. So a bit of information for you. That, that was that was intriguing. Thank you so much. Good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we might actually catch two riders, 84 and 85, in a minute or two. Once we've done that, if you don't mind. Would what do you want to do it now? Uh, I could do. Can we do it now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do the okay. adverts and come yeah, back. Yeah, I think they've got a bit of time. They've got yeah, four they or five minutes. Yeah, they have. Two 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 one two one two one two one two one two. Might try it like that. here. Sorry, I had, <laughs> I had nothing in my headphones and I thought, oh, my, my receiver's gone down. Sorry. No, no, we, we, were, t we were having a, a bit of a meeting, a discussion. We were having a huddle, a group huddle. <laughs> were we? I think we were. You're worrying me. Uh, your riders have disappeared. Yeah, they have. That's, that's, the, that's the difficulty in the car park that when you... you spot a couple of riders, you think, we'll have them in a wee while, well, and turn around and they're, they're gone. Uh, they have disappeared at the moment. Yeah, they have, yeah. They're not there. Well, one of them's still there. Well, which one's there? Yeah, uh, Amos. Is that him with his back to us? Yes. Go on well, then. Go and grab him. Try. No, this works, does it? It does work, but you'll have to turn around and face us. to Amsterdam now. Yeah. It's really leading to Amsterdam and back to Fort William. Well, what I'll have to do is I'll have to get you some stronger batteries tomorrow. Right, I'll see if, he can, if he's got a minute. Hold on okay. a second. 
Hello there. Uh, we'll tr- actually bring him up here. I'll bring him up, a yeah. Minutes. yeah. It's nice to see a rider on uh, Nevis Radio TV. Um, I like the outfit, it's good. It is, yeah. This is the Repsol Montezza outfit of uh, Amos Bilbao, former winner of the Scottish Six Days Trial in 2002 on Montezza, of course. Amos, tell, tell me, what do you do for a living now? <laughs> Well, I still uh, work as a test rider for Montesa Honda. Not many tests now, obvious, but uh, I work with my with my father in a good business. He's dealer for uh, Estrella Dorada, which is a brand beer brand in Spain. So I sell and I keep drinking a little as well. <laughs> you do drink a little now, okay? Now y- this year you have brought across a young Spanish rider, Alfredo Gomez. Tell me a little bit about Alfredo and your, your involvement with Montesa and yourself. Well, he's a factory rider in the B team. His bike is not obviously it's not as Fuji and, and Tony Bow, but this this bike we we assemble everything in the factory. He's a young rider. He also rides uh, enduro. Um, he's he's riding very well for the first time. We go all the time together. I try to explain him all my pass him all my knowledge uh, about the trial. Um, well, it's his his first time and he's he's riding very well. Yeah. Now tell me, what sort of training is uh, or training regime does Alfredo have to go through? Uh, riding for Montesa, does he have to go to some kind of academy for training for trial? No, he's also in a Spanish federation team and they, they practice quite a lot together. He lives in, in Madrid, he's, he's the only, he's a bit la, like me, he's the only trial rider who is not from Catalonia. Yeah. So this, this is a good thing sometimes and a bad thing sometimes. He spent a lot of time practice alone and well, it's a different different style, but they they, w- they practice separate most of the time. Now, Alfredo's family are all very much into trial. Their father, Mariano, is a trial rider, and also his sister, Sandra. Yes, I know his father since 81. We, we rode the European trial team coupe, and we traveled together in the bus. I know him since then. He's a very nice nice guy. And Sandra as well, uh, love trial, and she, she rode the pre-65. It's not professional rider, but she's, she's riding very well as well. Yeah, it's, it's very much a, f- a family family concern with the trial. Now, um, what what developments are, are, are coming from uh, Honda Montesa? Is there any new bike sometime, or do they test uh, new parts? Nothing at the moment, just small changes. We are waiting as well for, for a new bike. I'm waiting as well because it's my my job but at the moment everything is uh, stopped for the standard bike we keep working on the racing bike with Tony and Fujinami very many many things to test always but it's quite difficult to to improve that bike yeah it's been been very good since its launch in 2005 yes yes i think it's quite popular also here in Scotland i think people is very happy it's very consistent bike and um, well this is one of uh, our good good parts Absolutely right, and of course you were the first to, to ride it in the UK in the Scott trial as a, as a prototype. Uh, yes, I w- it was a long time ago. <laughs> it was hard. I, I love also that, that event, but now it's impossible for me. And I'm, I'm too old and not, not fit enough for finish that. Well, maybe finish, but not, not in good conditions. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Amos Bilbao, the former winner of the Scottish Six Days in 2002. Thank you very much, Amos. Thank you. Okay, thank you Amos. Cheers. Much. Thank you. It is Nevis Radio. It's uh, almost three minutes away from ten o'clock. Yeah. So good interview. Well done. Oh, nice fella. Yeah, and he told us a lot about what, what they do in Spain and all yeah. the development work. Um, I'm quite sure there's things going on with Honda Montez at the moment that obviously Amos can't share with us, but I'm, I'm mm-hmm. quite sure that they've got things on the stocks and testing new new parts and new products yeah. for the Honda Montez. All right, can we have a tune to the news? What have we got then? Oh, not yet. Like him.